Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Shining Time. Today I'm going to be making a video that is going to deal with the portrayal of black women in the media. And I'm going to be using as a specific example of the portrayal of black women in the media a television show on the Disney Channel. Um, I have a little sister, she's about 10 years old, so she is right in the age range that is targeted by Disney. And I watched this show on Disney Channel when I was with her a few months ago, actually. And it really caught my interest, this television show. And I started to look, uh, I started to watch a couple episodes, and I decided to make a video on it to kind of point this out to people who might not be aware of this television show maybe they should go and check it out for themselves the title of the show is called good luck charlie uh, I think it premiered last year something like that and I, I, I'm, I want to compare specifically the main female character and her best friend the main female character is portrayed by a young lady by the name of Bridget Mendler I think that's how you pronounce her name and her best friend is portrayed by a girl named Raven Goodwin now I'm going to put pictures up in this video to compare and contrast these two females and to show how the media portrays black women and the types of black women that are put to the forefront now I want you to take a look at Bridget Mendler and look at her body type she's very attractive she's very pretty she's well groomed she has a very nice hourglass figure she's slim she looks like she's hits the gym eats right um, she's a very attractive young lady now is it a coincidence that they would choose to cast opposite this very attractive young white lady young white girl young white teenager a black girl who is obviously on the heavier side Raven Goodwin is she's you know what she's fat you know I don't I don't know anything about her uh, this isn't an attack video on her but she's fat she does not really fit she's not really on the level body wise with Bridget her counterpart in the television show and I got to ask myself why would they cast her in that role if would they cast a white female who was overweight to be the best friend and I I really don't think so now it gets even worse because they also cast the mother who was frequently on the show and the mother has the same body type as the daughter I'm talking about the two black women on the television show now this this these two characters the mother and the daughter the two black characters the two black female characters have obese body types and this is the image that is put out there that many little girls see and to them this is what a black girl is this is what a black woman is if you notice the mom the black mother and the black daughter contrast directly with the white mother and the white daughter the white mother and the white daughter are very much fit and in shape whereas the black mother and the black daughter are very fat they're very heavy um, and it kind of it kind of disappoints me that Disney would choose to cast these two characters opposite the very attractive white characters I am sure that there were plenty of young attractive black females who could have played this role females that would have a body type that is on par with Bridget's 
Now I ask you, is it a coincidence that Disney chose to use heavy set actresses for these roles? And I think it is not. I think it is deliberate. And I think they chose the heavy set black girl so that it would amplify the beauty of the younger or of the white female main character. And this is the kind of things that we as black people, we need to point out, we need to see, and we need to address these things. We need to not allow black women who are not our most attractive to be put out front as the representatives of black women in general. When Notice that when Disney wants to cast white female leads... They never use a heavy set white female lead. The white female lead must always fit a prototype, I will say. And you can go back and do the you can look through how they portray and see for yourself. Uh this that's beyond the scope of what I want to get into in this video. But I want you to go and, and look at it. And some people may say, oh, it's Disney, so what? Well, Disney is very influential in the lives of young girls, and it reaches, it has a very large audience among children. And I just think it's unfair of them to put this very young, attractive white girl next to a very heavy black girl. It, it, it's not really, when you see the two beauty differences in the two, you know, the the female character, the white female character, Bridget, She's meant to be the hot eye candy, whereas the black female character is just kind of the the mammy, um, asexual, you know, she's not really a sexual character. She's just the mammy friend who kind of advises, and that's it. And it's very disappointing, because there are a lot of young black girls who watch this television show, and I just wish that there were an attractive black female that they could put on the show that could be on the level of the white female character as far as beauty um, if you get a chance um, look at the show maybe watch it on a few episodes on Disney Channel I don't want to promote it um, it's you know it's it's the classic Disney Channel sitcom very you know slapstick dumbed down comedy you know the typical stuff you find on Disney Channel um, yeah, go take a look at it and leave your opinion. Tell me what you think. Am I reading too much into this? I don't think I am. I think I think this is something that is very serious and needs to be addressed in a topic that we should confront Disney Channel about in the future and not allow them to do this kind of things. Um That's what that's all I want to say about this. Uh try to find more examples of this kind of thing. But thanks for listening.